Hello guys, how are you all? Hope doing well and preparing well for competitive exams, right? Okay guys, okay, don't take rest and don't relax guys, prepare well. And uh, today I am here to discuss about uh, something important in the organic chemistry that is about the concept of degree of unsaturation. So what is the degree of unsaturation here? And uh, how to calculate the degree of unsaturation and uh, how it will help us to calculate the different questions in the computer exams. So we will discuss about it in detail. Okay. So, guys, it, it is nothing, guys, it is very simple. Degree of unsaturation means it is nothing but so the number of uh, the, the rings and uh, pi bonds. Okay. Simply it explains about the, the pi bonds. Okay. And uh, whether the cyclic rings are present, pi bonds are present or not. Let's see how to calculate here. So, guys, here we have the different formulas to calculate the degree of unsaturation. So, uh, here, see one of the other. Uh, easiest formulas I am telling you that okay, degree of unsaturation okay I am writing as a DOU guys okay degree of unsaturation degree of unsaturation is equal to n plus 1 minus number of hydrogen atoms plus halogens minus nitrogen or phosphorus atoms by 2 that's all guys. Okay, this is one of the formulas okay we, which we can use to calculate the degree of unsaturation so guys here what is n here so where n is equal to where n is equal to number of uh, carbon atoms okay number of uh, carbon atoms and h is equal to hydrogen okay and uh, x is equal to halogen okay and uh, here you may take nitrogen n is equal to uh, nitrogen atoms or uh, you may also take the phosphorus atoms okay phosphorus okay just remember this guys okay this is a formula so how to calculate the degree of unsaturation the given compound so n plus 1 number of carbon atoms plus 1 minus number of hydrogens plus halogens minus nitrogen or phosphorus by 2 okay guys in case in the most of the organic compounds oxygen will be there so oxygen will not affect uh, on the degree of uh, unsaturation remember it is important okay so guys again i am telling you that so oxygen or sulfur okay does not affect on uh, okay does not affect on degree of uh, unsaturation okay remember it guys okay right so guys can please note this formula okay this formula is uh, okay we are going to use it now okay to calculate the degree of unsaturation which is the very easiest formula there are the many other formulas also there okay for the sake of your knowledge guys here i will give you those formulas also those th that is degree of uh, unsaturation is equal to 2n plus 2 minus h by 2 this formula also you can use okay or okay some other formulas also there guys okay uh, no need to go to the all those formulas okay okay anyways okay that formula is a uh, degree of unsaturation is equal to c minus h by 2 plus x minus x by 2 plus n by 2 plus 1 okay this formula so you can use okay guys no need okay this is uh, one of the simplest formulas okay which we can use to calculate the degree of unsaturation now let us go use this formula to calculate the degree of unsaturation what, what is the result what is the conclusion we can make from the degree of unsaturation with the suitable examples here okay so guys please make sure okay take a pen and paper and note everything in detail and do practice okay right guys well let's see degree of unsaturation with the suitable examples what is the formula we are using degree of unsaturation is equal to number of carbon atoms plus one minus number of hydrogens plus halogen minus nitrogen or phosphorus by two okay this is a formula we are gonna use it right okay guys now for example if you take a, a organic molecule like c6h6 okay so before going to discuss about these examples guys here i would like to tell you one important conclusion okay for after calculating the degree of uh, unsaturation remember 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 if degree of unsaturation is equal to in simple whole numbers okay remember that organic uh, compound can exist clear okay if degree of unsaturation is in the simple whole numbers okay organic compound can exist in case if it is in fractions okay if the degree of unsaturation is a fraction it is uh, that organic compound okay that organic compound does not exist that means it cannot exist okay fraction means it is uh, meaningless not significant here okay now let's see okay whether the compounds are existing or not with the degree of unsaturation here for example for example if you take uh, okay one of the molecules okay like uh, uh, c4h 10 O 4 this is one of the molecules okay let's see whether this molecule is an organic molecule or not whether it is whether it can exist or not let us calculate the degree of unsaturation how to calculate the degree of unsaturation degree of unsaturation is equal to number of carbon atoms 
in the given formula of 4 plus 1 minus number of hydrogens are the 10 and uh, no halogens, no nitrogens are there. Oxygen is here, but oxygen is uh, cannot affect on the degree of one saturation. So, get 10 by 2. So, here it is equal to what this? 5. Yes, get 10 by 2, 5. So, that is equal to 0. So, it is simple whole number. So, this molecule can exist. Okay, this molecule can exist here. Okay, like this. Okay, we give, I, let me give you some more examples also. Okay, some more examples also, guys. Here, let us see those examples. Yeah, guys. So, okay, let me give you another example. That example is that, okay, that is C4H8O4. Okay, let's see whether this organic molecule can exist or not. So, for that, we have to calculate degree of unsaturation. Okay, degree of unsaturation is equal to number of carbon atoms are the 4 plus 1, 4 plus 1 minus number of hydrogen atoms are 8 plus number of uh, halogens are the 0 and no nitrogen atoms are there and the oxygen, okay degree of unsaturation is 0. So, for oxygen, we have to take 0. So, by 2, that is equal to what guys? 4 plus 1, 5, 5, 8 upon 2 is a 4. So, this is equal to 1. So, this is simple whole number. Therefore, our, this molecule can exist. So, it is an organic molecule, right? Similarly, uh, suppose if I give you one more uh, uh, the example here, okay, that is uh, C4H9O4. Okay, take this molecule. Okay, calculate the degree of unsaturation. Okay, so that is, okay, C4H9O4. So, in which number of degree of unsaturation is equal to number of carbon atoms are the 4 plus 1 minus number of hydrogen atoms are the 9. For oxygen atoms, it is equal to 0 and no hydrogen, no halogens are there. So, by 2. So, that is equal to what? 5 minus 9 by 9, 9 upon 2 is equal to 4.5. 5 that is equal to 0 0.5 so it is a fraction so fraction means this molecule does not exist it is not an organic compound like this we have to identify the organic compounds guys here okay right so you may have the questions like this okay, which are the following compound can exist as a can uh, can be organic molecule or not okay so in that case what you do is just go to the degree of uh, uh, the unsaturation so for molecules okay if it if the degree of unsaturation is in the simple whole numbers okay that molecule can be exist if it is in the fraction that cannot exist that means it is not an organic compound like that simply you can answer it okay and guys here one more important thing is that so for a, for a molecule suppose if it, in case of the degree of unsaturation is equal to one what does it means it represents presence of one pi bond so if a, in a molecule if one pi bond is here that can be that can be exist as a, an alkene or it can also exist as a cycloalkane okay, it can be exist as alkene or cycloalkane for example by cfc let me let me give you another example here so for example if you take c3h6 let us calculate the degree of um, unsaturation degree of unsaturation is equal to what number of uh, carbon atoms number of carbon atoms are the 3 plus 1 okay minus okay number of hydrogens by 2 that is equal to 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 so that means there is one pi bond since it is having the one pi bond so this molecule may have the one it can be exist as a one alkene so for example if i write those structures here you can write it as a Okay, CH3, CH double bond, CH2, what is this? Propene. And with the same formula, you can also write the cyclopropane. That means if the one pi bond, if, if the degree of concentration is equal to one, that molecule can be exist as an alkene or can be exist as a cycloalkane. And guys, in case if the degree of concentration is equal to two, if the degree of unsaturation is equal to 2, what we can write here, in case if the degree of uh, unsaturation is equal to 2, it can be alkyne, or it can be alkadiene or it can be a bicyclic compound. Remember this, guys. Okay. So, if the degree of unsaturation is equal to 2, it can be exist as an alkyne or alkadiene or a bicyclic compound. For example, let's see. Let me give you one of the suitable examples here. Okay. Uh, let us see one of the examples here. For example, guys, here, see, there is a molecule, organic molecule, hydrocarbon like uh, C3H4. First, let us calculate how many pi bonds are present. That means what is the degree of uh, unsaturation. So, for that, what we have to do, we have to go to our formula. What is the formula here? So, degree of unsaturation is equal to, yes, number of carbon atoms are the 3, 3 plus 1, 4 minus number of hydrogen atoms 4 4 by 2 so that is equal to uh, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 so what is the degree of unsaturation 2 that means here it is consist of the 2 pi bonds okay 2 pi bonds so uh, it's 2 pi bonds now let's see how many isomers we can write with this formula so number of isomers we can write it like this okay that is equal to you can write one alkyne what is the alkyne we can write with this given formula we can write yes very good propyne 
okay we can write uh, ch3 c triple bond ch propyne or you can write uh, uh, the diene so that is uh, ch2 double bond c double bond ch2 this is called as allene right allene or uh, you can also write uh, uh, one cycloalkene guys here we can also write one more isomer that is uh, cycloalkene in also can be written so that is cyclopropene you can write or you can also write uh, <coughs> okay with this given formula only three carbons are there so with this given formula no uh, bicyclic compound is possible if the four carbons are there yes you can write the a bicyclic compound like this we can write so the different kind of isomers with the given formula okay so this is the application of a degree of unsaturation it means that so with the help of the degree of unsaturation so we have the different applications like uh, whether we can identify whether a molecule can be organic molecule or not if how to identify that if degree of unsaturation is equal to it is in the whole numbers it will be stable molecule it can be organic molecule it can be exist if the degree of unsaturation is a fraction that cannot exist it is not an organic molecule clear that is the first thing and second thing is that if the degree of unsaturation based on the degree of unsaturation we can identify the number of isomers also if the degree of unsaturation is equal to one so that hydrocarbon can be exist as a alkene or can be exist as a cycloalkane if the degree of unsaturation is equal to two that hydrocarbon can be exist as a alkene or alkadiene or cycloalkene and it can also be exist as a bicyclic compound okay but guys here remember for writing the bicyclic compounds it requires the minimum four carbon atoms okay that's all guys okay this is about the uh, degree of unsaturation yeah well guys uh, let's see one of the examples here okay see the here is a question guys the question is that uh, which one of the following formula does not uh, represent an organic compound so let's see how to answer this question so very simple guys as we discussed earlier okay just to calculate the degree of unsaturation if you calculate a uh, uh, degree of unsaturation okay already we, we calculated this so for the first compound guys okay whatever we calculated here okay for the first compound the degree of uh, what is the degree of unsaturation we calculated that is equal to uh, zero for the first compound it is equal to zero for second compound one third compound one and fourth component is equal to 0 0.5 so here these are the whole numbers therefore these compounds can exist and they represent an organic molecule here it is in the fraction therefore it does not exist okay like this we have to do okay guys clear right well very good guys okay do more practice and keep in touch okay okay don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, for the more videos okay thank you guys thank you very much bye bye